Hi, it's Annie Louie here. And Gina Curry. And we are celebrating, reflecting, and doing a lot of things here at Sandy Point Reserve today because it's Acknowledgement Day, as yes. you said. Uh, that is a great name for it. We are. It's such a good name for it. Rotary have created this wonderful event here in the park. Uh, to it, it is January 26th, also known as Australia Day or Invasion Day to some, a day, a day of mourning. Uh, you know, like there are a lot of different thoughts and tones that come with the day, with the date of the 26th of January here within Australia. And the Rotary Club of Hobson's Bay have put together a wonderful event which is just celebrating the diversity of our culture. Yeah, there's free food happening. There's a lot of people stopping by from the footpath and also just from cycling around and decide to check out what's happening on the big screen over there. I got to sleep in this morning, but you had to wake up super early. I was not that lucky. I was up at 4.30 in the morning and I was here at five. Um, we had a wonderful sunrise service where we were reflecting on the earth that we stand upon we had a, an, an acknowledgement of country and then a really beautiful welcome to country and then we just reflected and told stories about what this moment meant to us the land that we were on and that moment looking at a sunrise like that and being with not everyone that I knew like Tony Briffer was there I love Tony to bits but all these different people who were all here to stand together in solidarity and reflect upon the time and place that we're in was really wonderful and sharing those stories is so important. We're going to hear from you later on. Yes, but we heard, <laughs> we actually heard from you earlier, Annie Louie. Annie Louie did a wonderful speech and actually kicked all of them off. Despite living in a multicultural area, I realise now there are so many things I didn't get taught in school. Information about our past here in Australia, but also knowledge about Chinese culture and history that I'm only discovering now. The truth is, we're not born with knowledge. We rely on people around us to teach it to us. We need it to be documented and preserved for the future. If we don't know where we've been, then we've got no idea where we're going. So back to my question, what is it like to be a multicultural young person today? Personally, I'm proud to be different. I couldn't have said that 10 or 15 years ago. I never thought I would announce this in public on this very large stage, but you know what? I love liver sausage. I also love Chico Rolls, Fairy Bread, and the bastardized dumpling invention that is Dim Sim. I'm also pr proud of my blend of cultures and the fact my mum is capable of eating a meat pie with chopsticks. What was it like reflecting on how you were going to talk about cultural diversity and your experience within that on Australia yeah. Day? Yeah, I've never really celebrated Australia Day. It's different every year and I think now it's more important than ever to start asking some of those bigger questions and especially for me as a young Asian Australian woman we've had a really difficult last two years there has been a lot of discrimination around uh, my communities so being able to talk openly about that it's it just felt, felt like a really safe space where everyone's opinions were valued today and it's great to have that platform so really grateful and thanks for being a wonderful co-host. <laughs> my pleasure it has been really great People have just been coming by to see what it's all about or coming to be a part of the event. And it is wonderful that, you know, they get, there's a sausage sizzle, everyone can come get a drink, have some food and share some stories. You know, it's the sharing of stories, I think, that makes today so exciting. Uh, and exciting is maybe not the right word. That wasn't the word I was planning to do. What makes the day so special? I don't know why I said exciting. I mean, it's exciting that we are able to do this and that, you know, we, the last past, past two years, we haven't been able to have any events. Well, that's very true. I think exciting for me as well is because it's a change of narrative to what we normally expect on Australia Day. You know, like I, I'm, I'm speaking a little bit later, as you said, and you know, there's some trepidation with what do we say on Australia Day? It's a very divisive topic. Uh, but I think we've had some wonderful talks from other people as well throughout the day that remind us that one of the reasons it's that way is because of the generations that exist within it. And we're seeing a lot of change in narratives, in, in the importance of remembering the indigenous people of this land that we are on and the diversity of the cultures that we're a part of. And that's really wonderful. Yeah, so we're gonna to chat to some people out there and see how they're enjoying it all. So Terry, you were with me this morning at very early in the morning. In fact, uh, we were here at 5.30 in the morning, six o'clock to see the sunrise and have the official welcome, and, um, welcome of country and acknowledgement of country this morning. And then we had all shared some stories and had a little bit of a chat about what it meant to connect to the earth in this lovely space as the sun was rising. What was that like for you? It was really 
beautiful. Um, it was quite amazing to see the sunrise because I'm not u- usually up for that. No. <laughs> and it was beautiful to see it rise and to just be in that energy and to listen to the stories. And I spoke about just feeling the sense of gratitude for being on the land and being with this group of people, this beautiful sunrise. It was nice and cool then. <laughs> Not so much now. No, so it's a little bit now. warmer, a little bit warmer, but it was a lovely way to start the day. Yeah, and it just felt really reflective and just calm and respectful. It's really beautiful. I mean, that's part of the name of the game of today's event when you think about it. You know, we are acknowledging the many different cultures that are here in Australia. We're connecting and respecting the land that we're all on and we're sharing in our stories. So it was a really beautiful way to begin that, wasn't it? Yes, it was a really nice way to set the scene for the day. When was the last time you saw a sunrise? I'm, I'm like, it was over 10 years ago. Yeah. I probably had had a bit too much to drink, so I couldn't even see it. But Coming yeah. out of a club, I think. <laughs> I think yeah, I think coming out of a club for me is probably the same time I saw it as well, but there's something beautiful about seeing the sun just come up across the water and we had we had the swans and the waves and it was just beautiful. Yeah, there was a sense of reverence and uh, and connected co- connection because I didn't really know anyone there, but it was like a con- a sense of connection with everybody there. It was really beautiful. We were out bike riding and saw the excitement and the tent set up here, so we thought we'd come and check it out and see what was going on. And we were lucky enough to hear you speak, which was a fabulous, um, insightful, very entertaining um, and enjoyable thing to listen to. Thank you so much. Who have you brought along today as well? My mum was out riding with me and then we rang my dad and said, Dad, there's this great event on, come on down. So Dad's come down and joined us as well. So Margaret, you're part of the Rotary Club but why are you here today and what are you celebrating? Uh, today we're celebrating Acknowledgement Day slash Australia Day, recognising the contribution of all the different groups that are in Australia and also recognising in particular the Indigenous population and their contribution to the way we've turned out and how they manage the country for us. And what are some of your favourite things about the country? Um, Well, I grew up on a dairy farm, I love the outside, I love the outdoors, Um, but now I live in town, one of my favourite things is the wonderful food selection. We can go anywhere around the world by walking down a different street in Melbourne. And it's evident here today, we've got Savakis for lunch and we had coffee, I'm not sure what culture that's from, kind of everywhere. Yeah, I think the Italians would claim that one. (laughs) So, and then we've got Savakis, we've got Lamingtons and we've got sausages which has become quite a tradition within Australia. I'm here with Tim Watts, the federal member for Jellybrand, here where we are today at this wonderful Acknowledgement 2022 event that Rotary are throwing. Isn't it fabulous to have this event happening here today on Australia Day? Oh, it's beautiful. We've got Sublas, we've got snags, you know, Sandy Point Reserve behind us. Like, what more do you want? It's glorious weather. A little bit hot, you know, you might want to be in the shade a bit, but, you know, this is a great day to get out and see the other people in the community. I mean, yeah, we're in the shade, thank God. That's making things a bit better. It's good to be able to come out today and and have this open event that anyone can come and join to celebrate the diversity of our culture, don't you think? Absolutely. I mean, like, for me, Australia Day is a day for listening. You know, Australia is an incredibly diverse country. You know, we've got the really three stories that make Australia, you know, like the in- Indigenous foundation of our country, 65,000 years of heritage, something that we can be incredibly proud of and, you know, that I feel great humility in the face of. You know, we've got the Westminster traditions that came later and most recently we've got the multicultural migration that has really given Australia the diversity that we experience every day in Melbourne's West. So. For me, you can't tell the story of Australia without those three stories. Um, And so a day like today, I think it's really important that, you know, the three streams of the Australian story listen to each other about what it means to be Australian. I'm here with Jebediah, the mastermind behind this event. How's it going for you? Uh, It's going really well, thanks, Annie. Yes, yes, uh, wonderful day, beautiful, beautiful day. It's all about delivering an event on Australia Day, the 26th of January. Um, in a respectful way so that we can um, you know learn to um, uh, move forward with um, with this conversation and uh, and acknowledge everything that we, we we've done and uh, and start to come together as, as as a country and 
then we can, um, you know, then we can find a date where we can actually celebrate. These kind of things, you go out on a bit of a limb, uh, bearing in mind the Australian uh, uh, mentality or attitudes towards these kind of things. I think this is an awesome demonstration of the fact that we can still celebrate, but we cel there's, there's other things to celebrate about this day. Yeah. Um, and like I say, our history is an important one. Most people don't actually know the true history of black-white relations in this country. They don't. Um, and you don't have to dig too deep and you find out it's, it's not been a good story. Um, but we're still here, we're still strong, we've still got culture. And like I said up there, you know, uh, it's for everybody. We've been wanting to share it and that, not, don't ignore us. You know, come on board, come and do some all things Aboriginal stuff. We find out we're pretty cool people actually. Uh, like a laugh, definitely like to laugh. I think we do that a lot. <laughs> Um, and we have an amazing value system, um, which, ironically, a lot of other cultures share the same things, the same thing, they place the same importance as we do on the things that are most valuable to us, family for starters. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it, it's, uh, the world's changing, mate. Little by little, it's changing. Hopefully not too slowly though, because we're losing our cultural languages and all that at an alarming rate, and we need to accelerate the uptake of people's uh, interest and, and um, ability to help us protect it and preserve it.